What's up girlfriends? It's Wes Indy Ray back again with another video. Now I know it's been a while since I've come and showed face on my channel. Maybe not a long time, maybe like a month or so. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of my time since I had some on my hands today and show you guys a video that I feel like you would actually really enjoy. Now if you haven't gone and checked out my blacklist videos, please go ahead and check those out right now. I'll leave links to them in the description box below. If you guys don't know what the blacklist is, it's a series of videos that I'm producing that highlights a plethora of different types of black owned businesses. Because I feel like we should support businesses that are for us and by us. Shout out to FUBU, shout out to Solange. And I just think that it's really important for us to get the exposure that we need so that we can compete with other big businesses that don't care about you or your life or your well-being for that matter. So with that being said, please go check that out. Follow me at West Indy Ray on Instagram and let's hop into this video. I get this question a ton, whether I'm just like rocking my lip gloss, popping out in public, or I am on Instagram posting and my lips just look like glass, or I'm on YouTube and everybody's like, what are you wearing on your lips? I use this lip gloss all the time, okay? You can get it at your local Black Beauty Supply store. If there's a black one in your area, please go to that one. If not, go to whatever other beauty supply store that you could get your pack weed from because I guarantee you they're minority owned and you will be able to find this stuff. This is called Crystal Gloss, okay? Crystal Gloss. I have it in four different colors because I'm that obsessed with it. Because you know, girls with full lips, like we can't just be walking out here with dry, ashy looking lips like they have to pop okay as you guys can see my lips are naturally popping thank god for the ancestors my lip gloss has to be popping at all times my lips have to be moisturized i have to look like you know i'm not in the sahara i have to look like i am in the rivers with oshun like i just sipped from the nile so these things like they just come through for the kid i have it in all four colors that they had at my local beauty supply store um, I have them in diamonds and pearls. This one is kind of like a clear, but it has like a lot of sparkle in it. So if you like that look, diamonds and pearls. I have it in totally naked. I probably use this one the most because it's just like a really classic clear 2004 lip gloss that looks like glass. Like it just makes your lips look so juicy and full and just popping. And this stuff never comes off too. I also have it in the color Flirt. This one I also really like. It's tinted kind of orange and this one is just completely different from all the other ones it's called berry rich and it is like a pink color and this is the one that i'm going to show you guys today it's just popping okay and of course you guys know that i always 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 line my lips to make them look so fat and i use a nyx eyeliner every single time i have a couple of these this one that i have it's um, in the color medium brown and it's just the NYX eye pencil that I'm addicted to and if you're wondering the reason why I always use eyeliners is because I can't really find anything else that is dark enough for me to create that whole like big lip ombre look that doesn't have a tint of red a lot of the lip liners that you'll find out on the market they're like dark you could get them pretty dark but they have like a tint of purple or a tint of red and I don't really like that I want it to be just brown so eyeliners are always the way to go for me so should I zoom in you guys want to see this how I do it yeah I'll zoom in Hola. I start at the bow every single time because that's how I am and I do both sides and if you can see, it also helps accentuate the lips to have a little highlight on your cupid's bow. I do that every time I apply highlight. And we're just doing short strokes. Not coloring it in too much because with gloss, you don't really want it to be too dark because I'm not adding another color to blend it out. This is really gonna show up here if I was doing my classic ombre look I'm applying other colors to kind of blend it out I have like a brown color and then I go lighter and lighter and lighter with the gloss it's so clear that you kind of want the lip line to be there but a little more subtle I tend to make it pretty dark on the bottom part of my lip because my lips are so big that you really can't see this part that much so it's good to use that to my advantage and create a little bit of depth there now a lot of people do the lines right here and right here and right here and all that stuff to make it look like more depth. 
I've done it before, I'm not doing it today. I don't really see the huge benefit unless you're doing like colors or something for lip gloss. I just like it to look clear. And as you can see the applicator, it has like a dip in it. So it's not even just like a flat slant, it's like a dip. So it makes it a lot easier to apply that way as well. And that is it. Another thing I like doing is like sticking a finger in there so that it doesn't get that white stuff. Cause with any lip gloss for me, it tends to get a little bit of white around here. This lip gloss does not do that if you make sure that you clean like the inside of your lip. You see how it's sticking right there? I'm just gonna use my finger and clean that out and do a little test to make sure that I'm not sticking anywhere. So this is how glossy my lips look and also how glossy that they'll look for the rest of the day. I don't know what they put in this stuff, but it does not come off. It's almost a little concerning, but I feel like when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. Another thing I like about this lip gloss is even though it's obviously sticky because it stays on all day, it's not bad to the point where you can't function. You know what I'm saying? So this by far is my favorite lip gloss that I've ever tried in my whole entire life. That includes the number sevens, that includes the mattes, that includes the color pops, that includes everything, okay? The Glossier, used it when I was at my friend's house. It has nothing on this lip gloss, okay? All these best lip glosses, nothing on this. It's $2.99 and you can support your local beauty supply store by buying it. Like this stuff is amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my favorite lip gloss and how to get your lips to pop severely all day, every day without even having to reapply. And I hope that you decide to go ahead and navigate from this video and click on one of my other videos, most notably a blacklist video. I'll leave all that information in the description box below. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow all my social media accounts right down there at West Indie Ray, okay? Everywhere. It's just West Indie Ray. You guys can find me, follow me, talk to me, whatever. And let me know what you want to see in my next video, okay? So I hope you find peace in your life. I hope you find light and know that I always, always, always love you. Peace. Got it all over my fingers. But I did it for you though.